this maybe you'll learn something you're gonna learn something today so this one is actually uh some history on it according to them you know history is history we know well at least i know uh, the united states beer first in 1587 sir walter raleigh brewed the first beer in virginia in 1757 the future first president george washington wrote about his personal beer recipe and titled it To Make Small Beer. In 1876, Anheuser-Busch sent out the first fleet of double wall refrig of refrigerated railroad cars across the United States. And in 1935, Kruger Cream Ale was the first canned beer. In 1959, Coors was the first beer to be packaged in lightweight aluminum cans. In 1963, the Schultz uh, Brewing Company introduced the Pop Top Beer. In 1974, Miller Lite Beer became the first light beer. And in 1984, Labatt, uh, Labatt Brewing Company introduced the Twist Off Cap. So like I said, there's some interesting facts if you didn't know. Hopefully you learned something. But back to our drinking. So, like I said, today we're going to be doing the boil maker, all right? And the boiler maker consists of 15 ounces of light beer, which uh, the Stella Artois is going to be using. It's only 11 out, uh, yeah, 11 ounces, uh, which is good. We can probably throw a few more in there, but... Uh, I'm not worried about it. And then uh, one ounce of whiskey. And then all you're going to do with that is just you're going to combine it uh, within your pint glass, uh, whatever method you prefer, and, you know, go from there. So let's get started. So. What we got? Where was my cup at? All right, so we're going to use the bubblegum shrimp today. You know what I'm saying? All right. Okay, so get that in there. Get some ice in there. That shit got real foamy on me. Bing, bing, dong, bing, dong. All right. We're going to put our whiskey in here. Yeah. I like my whiskey, you know. I like some Jim Bean. Some of that Jack Daniels. That Jack and Jack. Cause if that ice cold beer loses its buzz, I'm gonna let that whiskey do what whiskey does. <laughs> All right, so one ounce of whiskey. It actually smells good with that apple. Like I said, this is that bird dog apple flavored whiskey. All right. Let's stir that. And 
let's try the boiler maker. All right, I like this one. This one is like, I will make see myself making this in the future again. Uh, reason why I say so, uh, man, as I got older, man, I, I like more, you know, mixed drinks. I've been drinking like all that hard stuff from Erica and Jessica, uh, you know, the Paul Masson and all the other good shit, you know what I'm saying, that we was getting our hands on at our age at that time. Uh, and taking it straight to the head, man, you know, take it to the head. Uh, and you can tell that I'm getting older too, you know, like a lot of people like, why are you starting to drink all that girly shit? To me, I like when, if I want to drink, I want that shit to go down smooth and I want to enjoy it. I don't want to be making all these tart faces for you guys. So, uh, recently I've been actually been on that angry orchard and, uh, what is it? Um, like, uh, a, a dark stout, which is called... Um, what the snakes bite or something like that? Snake bite. It's pretty good. So, uh, been on that in the angry orchards. I like too. You know, just by themselves as well. Even though it's not as bad. And but you know, like I said, I like my flavored drinks. I like it to go down smooth. I like to enjoy drinking. Uh, reason I say that is because like this apple whiskey kind of reminds me that I'm drinking an uh, angry orchard. You know, and like I said, this is actually pretty good. So, yeah, 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 I will say. So, once again, that is the boiler maker. Uh, it was, uh, it asked for 15 ounces of a uh, light beer, which I used on the 11 of the Stella Artois. Uh, and then one ounce of whiskey, like I said, I ended up using actually the Bird Dog apple flavor whiskey, but whatever whiskey that you like, uh, one ounce of that, stir it up. And you're good. So, with that being said, my light just went out. I guess it's saying cut, cut it off, cut it off. And we're going to go ahead and conclude this episode. Take it to the head.